What's up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to reinstall your PlayStation 4 software without using a USB. So you actually don't need to download anything from the internet, and let's say you want to reinstall your PlayStation 4 software itself because it's glitching, it's bugging, it's not even turning on, well you came to the right place. So what we're going to do is, we're going to make sure your PlayStation 4 is fully turned off, it's not on, it's not in power mode or sleep mode or whatever it's called, it's completely turned off. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to get into safe mode. And to do this, we click onto the power button. Um, I believe it's in the same place for the PlayStation 4 Pro. Well, actually, no, I think it's different. Well, for the slim, wherever it is, it's um, you see a little symbol on it, and you click into the power button, and you hold it for about five to 10 seconds. Um, it should make two beeps. So what, the first one, when you just press it, and the second one should be within five to 10 seconds. So I'm actually gonna let go now. My PlayStation 4 has been acting up this is an old playstation 4 it doesn't make two beeps for some reason but i time myself internally on when i should basically let go now the important factor what a lot of people have been commenting under my videos and not getting is you need to have an authentic wire or at least a wire that's being read by the playstation 4 a usb cable connected to your controller you cannot connect via bluetooth like how you normally do with your playstation 4 it has to be via the wire itself and if it doesn't work please try a different controller or a different wire it's either or is messed up if it's the wire there's a link in the description below you can get this authentic wire it works if not try a different controller there's a lot of like lying around wires in your house check it out borrow one from a friend try something so once you have it connected you press the home button and the other thing just an fyi the analog stick does not work here it has to be the d-pad a lot of people get to the screen and they're like i can't move you got to use the d-pad the analog sticks do not work cool so what we're going to do now is we're going to basically go to option number six which is initialize ps4 now please fyi this will delete everything on your playstation 4 you're reinstalling everything on your system itself and we're, you're just doing it without the usb method this will literally re delete everything bring it back to uh, out of the box format and you'll have to like everything will be done it'll update it it'll do everything you'll have to make your accounts again or if you have the login you'll just log into the account all your data will get deleted all your save files will get deleted this will delete everything if you don't want to do this obviously you can try my other video where you can reinstall the system software without deleting everything first that just reinstalls the software um it may or may not resolve any issues or errors that you're happening but this is supposed to be like a clean fresh wipe to basically get rid of any corruption possible this should be like last step <laughs> if necessary if not i would highly advise you to not do this if especially if you don't want to lose your data but hey <laughs> if you ha if it's not working you just can't even turn it on you might want to give this a shot you'll basically go into this it'll ask you if you initialize the ps4 all users and all data will be deleted from the playstation 4 are you sure you want to continue you press yes you go to the next screens and then yeah <laughs> everything then gets deleted um, so yeah, this is basically how you uh, reinstall your PlayStation 4 system software without using a USB device. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help you. Please let me know if you have any errors or issues that are coming up. Uh, more than happy to like guide you and like help you guys figure out how to like resolve any issues or errors. If you have any, um, and yeah, just let me know. If you overall like the video, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Other than that, more gaming out. Peace.